Hey guys, so we are going to be reading today from Luke 17, 11 through 19. And it says, Now, on the way, on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee, and he was going into a village. Ten men who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. When he saw them, he said, Go show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleaned. One of them, when he saw he was healed, came back praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And he was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, were not all ten cl cleansed? Where are all the other nine? Has no one returned to giving praise to God except for this foreigner? Then he said to him, rise and go. Your faith has made you well. So a few things to know. One, leprosy, just in case you don't know, was a contagious disease. Lepers were forced to live outside of the city. They were secluded from their friends and their family and even their loved ones. And leprosy was taken very serious. And so a little recap is when Jesus healed them, he restored their health and their lives. But, not, but what you notice is that there were 10 different men, but only one of them came back to say thank you and praised God for what he has done. The others were too excited to show themselves to the priests to, to, be, to be declared clean and go home to see their loved ones. The leper who said thank you shows us, I think, how important it is to stop what we're doing and show real gratitude to the people who bless us every day. So my challenge for us is to think, when was the last time you would thank God for your life? For flowers? for puppies, or even Jesus. When was the last time you sat down and counted your blessings, big, small, that God has given you? God is the provider of every good and perfect gift. He's the giver of every good gift that we will receive. He blesses us with so much. And I even wrote a little list, I think it's right here, of just a few things I'm thankful for. I wrote down, just a few things within five seconds, or wait, maybe like a minute, I don't know, of just things I'm thankful for. I wrote down the miracle of technology, animal style fries at In-N-Out, FaceTiming with junior hires, talking to a friend who makes me laugh, the kids I babysit because I miss them, my job and my income, flowers, my calling and vocation, and the list goes on and on. And that was only within like a minute, you guys. There's so much we have to be thankful for. God is our creator, and he made us to be in relationship with him forever. If you can't think of a reason to be thankful, that alone is the most amazing thing that I am thankful for. So I want to encourage you, in the season where there's so much suffering and there's pain around in the world, let's combat that with thankfulness and joy and love for our Lord.